Hi, my name is Bruce Wade. We're speaking leadership this month, and there's a, there's a word that leaders overuse or never say, and that word is sorry. But let's explore the first part, is that there seems to be a, a humble culture that has crept in that I've noticed and from various levels right down to kind of small kids up to up to adults and even in leaders that the overuse of the word sorry becomes a habit. Every sentence is started with sorry I just want to interrupt, sorry here's my opinion or sorry I want to push in the queue and sorry I'm here sorry I exist and it undermines and undervalues everything you say after that. It's a word that's overused and doesn't make for a great leader. If this is one of your issues then listen to what you say. Listen to how you start sentences. It's what we call a filler word. It becomes a habit. And it's a bad habit for not only leaders, but everyone to have. The use of the word sorry should be appropriate and well-timed. Then, on the other end of the scale, we get those people who never say sorry, or never can say sorry. It's those people who are categorized as those rugged individuals, the people that are never wrong in their own eyes. People who always have an excuse or other people to blame. It's what I call the Adam and Eve syndrome. If you remember the story back in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve were caught out by God for eating the fruit that they were told very clearly not to eat. God confronts Adam and says, why? Why have you messed up? And instead of Adam manning up and saying, I apologize. I'm the leader here. I'm the person you gave responsibility. And I've messed up. I apologize. I am sorry. <laughs> How they would have changed the course of mankind. But instead, what Adam does, he, he wusses out and he blames the next person, Eve. The woman made me do it. How typical is that of men? How typical is that of leaders today blaming somebody else? So God turns his attention to Eve and says, well, Eve, what is your excuse? And having learnt from Adam, she redirects as well and says, it was the snake that made me do it. And God turns to the snake and, well, the snake didn't have a leg to stand on and he was condemned. And as funny as that story might be, and just kind of unpacking that, it's really where we are today with a lot of our leaders. Leaders who run countries, a lot of politicians have this sense of non-responsibility and redirection and blame. We often see that when the focus comes on this issue is that a strategic leader in their mind will create a fire over here and redirect that. We've seen a lot of that in our country, where we have some huge issues that are in the spotlight, but oh no, we'll go after somebody over here and try and redirect. It's very clever and strategic of leaders to redirect. It, it recuses them of blame and having to take responsibility for their own doing. I suppose survival in political and leadership circles is number one for the leader who's fearful for their position. But a good leader, a strong leader, a strategic 
well-balanced, focused leader, the ones that we like to deal with, is somebody who can take responsibility for their actions. And people mess up. We all make mistakes. We all slip up. We all misread a situation and often make the wrong decision. But the strong leader is able to stand up tall and say, the buck stops with me. It was my fault and I am truly sorry. A person who will take responsibility for the actions of themselves and the team below them. Those are the types of leaders that we want in our country. Those are the types of leaders we want in our business world. And those are the types of leaders we want running the world. What type of leader are you? Are you a sorry for me, sorry for this, sorry for that? Or are you a redirection, not ever taking responsibility for anything? Or are you the type of leader that's real and authentic and strong enough in themselves to take responsibility, learn from our mistakes and move on? Hmm. Something to think about. Watch others watch yourself and see where you fit in. My name is Bruce and this is Bruce on Business where we help make leaders for tomorrow.